Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Top 8 of DNYCS Tokyo. And Seb actually effing made it. I'm super proud of the guy. Super amazing that he did it. Alright, um, I have to sort of stay neutral. Uh, because Great on did, like, he did win Swiss. He was first. Seb was eighth. Let's see how things are gonna go here. Um. Seb doesn't know what Greydon's playing. Pretty sure Greydon doesn't know what Seb is playing. I wonder how Greydon's gonna react to Seb's deck. If you guys don't realize what his deck is yet. Uh, I'm gonna say it. Uh, yeah. Well, Seb is 15. I can tell you that much. I hope he does know about the rule. It doesn't. Yeah, seven is fifteen. He's not playing monarch. Don't worry, it's not. Like people were like, like oh, you say you top with you send you. Just wait till you see what Seb top with. <laughs> Just wait until you see what Seb top with. Who's going for Sebi? Probably gonna re be revealed very soon. <laughs> oh, great! I, I I would love to see Greyhound's first reaction to Sam's deck. D D <laughs> D D top eight. <laughs> oh, I still love it. I remember talking to Sam when he realized like he was he could possibly get top cut, and when he realized he got top cut, like last night we realized it, he was like, "How in the hell did D D top?" <laughs> huh? Let's see what he can do. We don't know what Greydon's playing. Unlikely it's Monarchs. So he won uh, Swiss without Monarchs, but that can still mean Cosmo. That can still mean um, Performer Peldraco Slayer. I haven't actually seen any Performer Peldraco Slayers this tournament, because I personally faced three regular Monarch decks, a Clifford Monarch deck, a Cosmo, and a Cosmo deck in the final, and, my f and the other Swiss round. My opponent wasn't active. So, yeah, I faced a bunch of Monarch things, and one Cosmo, which was Red Gamer, and, uh, yeah, I haven't actually seen any of the, um, what did I just say? Perform a pal, Draco Slayer, which I know is part of the top three decks right now. It showed, like, in deck distribution it was good, and it also showed in the recent YCS that it did really well. Here we go, Fusion Summon! Quite obviously, which one's gonna be? It's gonna be dark. Basic first move. See what great has. Pretty sure I just started a sentence before dark came out, and I never finished it. But I don't remember what I was saying. Sorry. Hello, Gredon. Hello. Are you around? Hello, hello. Is you here? Is you AFK? Is you going to disconnect? I guess not. He is here. He clicked shuffle. He clicked hmm. Now we start. What does this winner of Swiss play? No one actually went undefeated. Technically, one, pretty sure one person did, but he sort of tied. Ooh, reasoning. That could mean Cosmo. I have seen uh, inf uh, reasoning in Cosmo. Could also mean Infernoid. I have seen reasoning in Cosmos, though. Pretty sure Red Gamer didn't have it. He had, like, a Cosmo artifact deck. Cosmo or Infernoid. Those are the two more likely ones. What will it be? I have this weird feeling like Radon's lagging a lot. He took him quite some time to start his turn. And Seb is the kind of level and nothing's happening. 
Plasma it is. Alright. Let's see what Sub can do against him. Just one summon, Graven. He really must be lagging. Wow. Well, the match has already started, so even like they they have to complete it with with this lag. And if he disconnects, then at if he disconnects at this stage, then Seb just gets the one nil, and they continue from there. Another one. Huh, interesting. Except now knows it's Cosmo. What does he get? What does he go for? He could go for three to get rid of Farm Girl. Yeah. He wants Farm Girl to go away. He might hit a spaceship. But ooh, teleport away. That's good. Cosmo Town away. Oh yeah, this can be special summon too. Oh, wait, that actually gets its effect. Uh, right, I forgot about that. You just, that's why reasoning was using Cosmo. I remember when I used in DNYC's Worlds at the, uh, the end of last year, I used Cosmo, but I didn't have, I didn't have reasoning in the deck, I believe. And, uh, yeah, some others did. And they have a few different cards as well. I, I didn't really know Cosmo too well. I knew them pretty well, but not too well. There were some combos that I never realized that I learned during the tournament, which was unfortunate. I ended up winning once, but that was like due to someone dropping. So, even though I got 1-3 during Swiss at Worlds, I technically still didn't win. And I went 0-4 uh, Worlds 3, so... Yeah, okay, I technically still didn't win. Ooh, Sword Troopers. What does that do again? Uh, that's pretty new. A thousand love would take a second Cosmo to Gravis or something. That could have worked with um, Farm Girl. If Farm Girl was uh, put in the graveyard, who was reasoning. Uh, Dark Destroyer out, uh, maybe Strongman. What does it do again? Special Summon to Banish one. There's nothing banished though. Well, they got like sword troopers and uh, strongmans. Those are strongmans could just summon something from the hand if they have something. Hmm. I'm just gonna attack, deal at least 4,000, except it doesn't have anything to stop it. Mirror Force? Pretty sure most of his trap lineup. A good amount of his trap line is actually DD related. Like, was it the Valkyrie? No, it's still Valkyrie in here. That was it. I was a What I do know, what like, I've, I've obviously spoken with Sab about his deck a few times already. Like, about changes he'd make. And I know he like I'm not gonna obviously reveal all of his deck right now in case he does win, but there's a few changes he'd make knowing like the deck a little better, having used it a bit more in a tournament scene. <laughs> oh God, Seb's in trouble. Um, uh, but he also feels and like I haven't used DD as much, I can't really confirm it, but that the OCG variant of DD just adds a few possibilities, cards, combos that just make the deck quite a lot better. DD Lamia, I believe, is one of them. It's pretty darn good. There's Beowulf, as is, which is a fusion. And uh, then Siegfried is a synchro. I'm not sure how much that's used, but they, those are just some of the extra options that DD do get. So he has to go for strongman. If you say which F, you have to pay the cost first. Then discard, and target, and you can only target strongman. God, he doesn't realize they can't be targeted. Ouch. Yeah, he has to target Strongman now. 
He's unable to take it back since it is a legal one. Ouch. That does hurt. Would have been nice if he could destroy it, but even then, Forerunner could have summoned something else. Not sure if Seb actually realizes that part, but we'll see. Farm girl. Yeah, it's a level 2. I was wondering, why did he keep Strawman on the field, not Sword Troopers, but Strawman could summon Farm girl. If all effects go through, which they probably will, considering... Uh, can they use this one for turn? You can only use that once per turn, yeah. Unless Seb has an amazing card in his hand. Uh, this is over. Farm Girl direct attack. Farm Girl doesn't even need to use its effect. Ouch! OTK in the face! Ooh, Seb, I hope you can do something in game two. I'm rooting for you, bud, but... Uh, yeah. Let's see how this goes. See how much siding stuff. And I have an idea of what I'll be using next time. I think I'll use like for the next DNY I think I'll use the Senju again. I do plan to go for a bit more testing. Uh beforehand. Just, like few possible main deck cards I know I want to change. Side deck just slightly. Assuming like the meta is sort of the same if you don't get a new list. Look, it is quite a few people expect a new April list with and like the tournament host, like seven HCs and seven Cosmos. They were like, We're waiting for the April list and then we're gonna do the second DNYCS. It's not confirmed that there will be an April list. Konami's just throwing it out there at one point. So it could be like, oh, we're going to start, and then, like, halfway round two, we're going to get the new list. Then we're going to have to finish the DNYCS under the old list. So if it's under the same list as now, we do get, like, one more set, which is, like, premium, is it? premium gold, infinite gold um, added in, and then that's it. Uh, compared to this DNYCS. So in that sense, I wouldn't mind that that much. I have, I have an idea of how I want to make a few changes to my deck. Um, I have like a few main deck changes, few side deck changes. Keep most of it the same though. Maybe maybe one extra deck. I don't think so. I'll, I'll have to look at some some other possibilities because in your century you don't really see some of that often anyway. So yeah, well I'll think about it. I'll definitely take some more uh, testing time. See how it goes. For now, top eight. TNYCS Tokyo, SMP Gaming for the Great on FR, the number 8 of Swiss against the number 1, they're going to leave the number 1 performing an OTK, like Cosmos are able to do. Two Reasonings gets them, got them two mods, which is very nice, was able to get rid of Dark with uh, Dark Destroyers effect, which is very nice. Um, unfortunately, Dark Ultra with a Witch didn't really work out as it would have wanted. So, you know. We're in the same quite some time siding. Like, I sometimes do, like, take this time as well, so in that sense it's allowed. However, considering that it seemed to lag earlier, because, like, he's, like, during Seb's first turn, and, like, uh, during their Great on Zone first turn, they were taking quite some time, which I don't feel was, a, like, no, they might have been AFK, like, getting something or so. I'm not entirely certain, we'll have to ask him afterwards. But, he might be lagging, or AFK, or, I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. Pretty sure none of the other matches have been completed. None of them have been reported, anyway. Siding ended. Seb didn't need to pass. Let's see what Seb goes for first or second. He does stick first again. I'm somewhat surprised by that. Considering that Seb only gets five cards, and he could potentially OTK. Unless Seb does have some side cards. I know I talked about his, like, with him about his side deck right after he won round six. And there's, like, some good decks, and there's a bunch of them out there, like, You've performed Peldraco Slayer, you're Cosmo, you're Monarch, you're Burning Abyss, you're Inferno. There's some decks he has stuff for, and some decks he doesn't. Let's see. Alright, he definitely has a different opening hand. DD7 Kepler. We'll add Gates or um, Swamp King. Depending on depending on Seb's hand, we'll choose something different. 
Gates allows to add resources, but if they just want he just wants to get the fusion out, something. Gate generally, yeah. Gates could add um Swirl Slime. Swirl Slime could mean fusion, but then Kepler is still in the field if something is used. So we're gonna have to wait and see that. Oh, we I see Monkey D Dragon here in the Watchers area. He knows that SP Gaming is playing because Monkey uh, D Dragon actually beat Seb in round two. Um, that was a feature match as well. Pretty sure I never actually uploaded that one to Doing Outbreak, so sorry, uh, tournament hosts. I that sort of was taking time with other stuff. So I'm, I'm sorry about that. I, I did record quite a few matches, but only ever made the article for one. So, yeah. Like, I suppose for the last one, like, round six, I do have an excuse because, like, I was on the radio and, like, that was. I had a news interview and then I was on. And then I was in the internet and then a radio interview and another radio station wanted to interview me about Pokemon. So I technically had a good reason, I feel, but, eh. Ooh, he already has Swamp King. That's interesting. Alright, then Kepler is off the field. Although, then that is one less monster, so it doesn't really matter too much. Anyway, Necro Slime is away. So Necro Slime being banished from the Griff could mean another fusion summon this turn or later. Dark comes out now. That's it for the turn. Let's see if Greydon can just summon a Dark Destroyer via Fire Girl, via Strongman, via Sword, which was via reasoning like they did before. We don't know. They have a Cosmo Town. Activation good so far. Shuffle fucking Cosmo Town. Just like it. It's not a cost to reveal though. So if he 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 gave Sam nice response time, but for this one he didn't. He just put the card there and started. Even then, it, it, let's say the reveal would be a cost. It's still not really that much response time, but eh. Um, he also didn't wait for the okay from Sam. Although uh, that looks like some time was given, but. <laughs> If they want to ask for response time, then they should ask before they reveal, because the revealing isn't part of the cost, it's part of it. Like, the resolution you sort of reveal to show that it's actually a Cosmo card that you're returning, even though it doesn't specifically say reveal on Cosmo Town's effect. This is going to have to be a banish into Dark Destroyer? Or is it the, the, the Dark thingy? Level 9? I don't remember how much stack that has. Dark Destroyer would be a nice one, if, especially if Seb's trap just can't do anything about it. I suppose it would be nice if that's, um, like, Solemn Strike. Solemn Warning. And the Solemn Warning we could only stop Strom, and Solemn Strike could actually stop Dark Destroyer would it come out. Strom and banishes itself, level 3 hard Cosmo. I don't expect something like Farm Worlds to come out. It almost has to be a spaceship. Because otherwise, why would he summon Strawman in the first place? Um. When the spell trap card that is up on the field activates its effect. Um. There's tries. It doesn't negate. Also. As but it can't be destroyed in here. It activates on, on the field. Is this legal considering a monster that is or uh, monster on the field activated its effect? Not sure. Dark Destroyer will be gone. Darkwood, anyway. But Dark Destroyer will be gone, they have to summon a slightly weaker one. This could 
could have been a moment, because it doesn't, pretty sure they ghost up it, uh, ghost ogre, was it? Something, thing. Shh, can't say that on my channel. Ghost ogre snow rapid, that was the name. Let's see if it'll be another OTK. It could very well be. A normal summon has already happened, so. Although, this is 3000. If they have an emergency teleport, it doesn't become an OTK, but Sep will be taken out by spells. Ah, during his turn. This could be a really quick game. Ouch. Sorry, Sep, that things didn't really work out for you this time. Oh, they don't have teleport. Sep might just live for another turn. They have Graydon has Strawman in hand, that's all the info we have really, let's have him go on. Set cards might really get in the way. He's <laughs> I knew it! He didn't he has to read the DDs. But I'm surprised he's only reading them now. He's seen he's seen Gate before in the previous duel, and Swamp King has been seen at least well early last turn. I'm surprised he's only reading it now. Maybe that's just me, because I read them as soon as the cards come out, even though, like, the effects can't be used for another three turns, or they're not useful at all. I just want to know what a card does, so I know approximately what I sort of can expect. So I'm not like, what the hell is this effect? Well, they said, let's say, gate effect. Like, what are you doing? I at least know something, and then I can ask to read the card slightly again, just to make sure I get the exact details right, so I know that he's not cheating or mis misreading his own effect in any way. This is not coaching. This is ruling question. He can look it up himself as well. And I didn't say yeah that I didn't say yeah that's a good way to go to Dark Destroyer. That would be coaching. He probably I think he's gonna get rid of something. He's gonna get rid of gates. Um, Graydon, you weren't doing stuff in order. Like, he allowed the destruction, but then please allow the destruction first before you start resolving the next one, because Seb hadn't even destroyed his card yet. Slip Rider, smart. Take that Swamp King. This doesn't allow him to fusion some, like, he has glow up. That's a Swamp King, probably. Like, what he probably wanted to do was use Swamp King's effect. Banish Necro Summon and Dark from the graveyard to summon a new Dark, summon Glow Up Bulb, Synchro to Scarlight, like you messaged me. Not that it really helps him out in any way. Because I'm pretty sure this will be a uh, game. They could just cause to add Dark Destroyer back and just really hurt Sub. Like his, his middle set here from Sub, I don't know what it is, but. That wasn't used last turn, so chances are it's not going to be able to stop any of Graydon's plays this turn. Knowing Seb's hand, this is very likely just a bluff Swamp King. See, what, what did he say he had? Two Swamp King. Oh, Ghost. This could actually be This is Ghost Ogre, or this is Ghost Ogre. One of those is Ghost Ogre, one of those is Glow Bulb. John starts Ghost Ogre, actually, that's on the field for higher defense. So this has to. This is Swamp King, this head card. <laughs> Unfortunately, so. Town Shuffle. He does ask for response time now before he uh, shows the cards, so that's good. Green is just making sure he gets his cards. Tin can shuffle away. Almost gives no time for Seb to even go over the card to see if it's Cosmo, but. Well, I can confirm it's Cosmo, so. Hmm. Maybe Graydon assumes that Seb knows a lot about Cosmo. He doesn't. He. Seb doesn't play rated, or he doesn't play Yu Gi Oh! all that often anyway. He just knows how DDD works. Uh, he has a few, like, four different DDD decks, at least one OCG, and, like, two TCG minimum, one OCG minimum. He has at least four DDD decks with some few different cards. Hmm. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah, you can! So, unfortunately, the effect is negated. <laughs> Your monster still dies. That's the unfortunate thing about Ghost Orchid Snow Rabbit. It doesn't negate. It's really helpful against Cosmotown. 
Although, in that sense, Cosmo Town does get a Cosmo card from deck to hand, which could be another Cosmo Town, so it doesn't really help all that much against Cosmo Town specifically. But like, things like Field Spells, I think like Ruster, Luster Pendulum, the Dragon Slayer, really works against um, Clifford Scout, uh, like uh, Pendulum cards like that, uh, Continuous Spell Straps that activate. Um, Fire Formation Tanky is a nice card against. He probably wants to know about the Negate ruling. Well, it just doesn't say anything, guys. He just want, probably wants to read his ghost stroke to be sure. Well, you can't warning it. Because it was someone from an effective sepsis chain, so he should have stopped Strawman, if anything. Bottomless could work. Yeah, oh, he might have Witch. Does he have Witch face down? But then, can he send a face down? Wait, Vonalus? Oh, then the first one was a Bluff Swamp King. Okay, that works. Doesn't matter if it's effects in a gator or not, because Vonalus isn't target. It's a nice move anyway. That's a good response. And considering the seven might have been a little late with the thinking about your somewhat darker server, but he actually said it somewhat somewhat early, I believe. I didn't actually I don't actually remember that much. Um this has nothing to do with rabbit. That also doesn't matter, because Bottomless is a target. <laughs> it is indeed still main phase one. Yes, it is main phase one. Nice move from Septo to use Bottomless there. It was a good one. Dark Destroyer does get its effect, though. No, wait, it doesn't. No, 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 no. He doesn't get the effects that he gets from that. That's where it does matter. Sap keeps his monster. Wait, then where's his... He said, didn't he say he had glow up bulb and ghost... Oh, he did discard it to get... To get in fact, yeah, the monster is glow up bulb. Plays new Cosmo Town, returns the thing. So I can't actually go away, he just wants another... Well, he wants an emergency teleport, I think. To attack with slip to attack with farm girl, hit for some damage, search. He wants to teleport. He's already normal summon. Pretty sure, didn't yeah, he? He summoned normal summon trauma this turn, right? What was that last turn? I don't remember. Was that last turn? Yeah, and then he summoned destroyer. Then he managed this one. Then destroyer was later taken out by Cosmojo. No, Strawman was last turn. He didn't normal summon this turn yet. If he didn't normal summon this turn yet, why didn't he just normal summon Tin Can and banish it for Dark Destroyer? Hmm. That might be fixed. Ooh, Call of the Haunted. What card is left there? Four? No, four hundred was last game. Oh, uh, Strawman, right. He put that there. Banish, what does he have? Uh, we know it's a Swamp King face down and there's a uh, thingy there. If this is Dark Destroyer, it's over. Dark Destroyer out, Seb, Seb's turn, then they played Cosmojo, put out Slip Rider. It's not game yet, but Seb doesn't have anything. 
He has a Globe of Grave, which he can summon. What would be his best card to go with? If he has a third Swamp King, that could be nice. Or a second Kepler to find Swamp King. To then do stuff in the graveyard to get dark. Globe up with its effect. Scarlight. I could. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, damn. I forgot about that possibility. Ouch. Yes, I'm you're done for. <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> oh, God. Card or effect is activated, so he can stop the global, he can stop the Swamp King, whatever it is the biggest threat. Sorry, Sam. Like, the congratulations on reaching the damn top 8 with DD. Wow. Unreal. Sam can summon it now. Milling is not a cost. That was no response. They probably thought it was a cost, though. So I don't know. We, I don't know what he's running to. Set card. If this would have been like dark hole or regular key, it's over. Just needs to be a direct attack. Is whatever he has face down. Infinity can stop. Cosmo beats DD in the f uh, first quarterfinal match at the NYCS Tokyo. Great on FR moves on after winning Swiss. He moves on to the semifinals and makes certain that whatever he finishes now, as long as he par just participates in the rest of Swiss and finishes like it finishes Swiss, he will have enough participation points added on to his points from this, and he pretty much will qualify for world. So that's very well done on their part. Um, Seb unfortunately lost, but still everyone. He made top 8 with DD. How crazy is that? Like, people were quite surprised when I topped with Yosenju, like in the second or the third um, DNYCS last season. People were quite surprised with Yosenju, but Yosenju, I feel, is still expected to be quite good. It's like sort of under meta, but still quite good. <laughs> What's funny? Because, like, he had to read the cards. It's still funny because he. <laughs> Just you wait until you play the OCG version. Uh, I do find it very. This is one of the things. Like you sort of expect you send you maybe not like as one of the main cards like like your Cosmo, or your Monarch. But like so you, most players will know like what you send you do generally. This guy, even though he won Swiss and he plays Cosmo super well, he didn't have a clue what some of the DDs did. I'm not laughing at you, Grey Dunn. I'm just. Surprised and entertained by the fact you don't know the cards, this is, which isn't a bad thing on your part. It's just sort of um, a confirmation that people did not expect DD to get this far. <laughs> <laughs> so great job getting top eight with your DD. Unfortunately, you lost, but you do have freaking seven points towards Gene Weiss's rolls, where I have one. So yeah, you just have to top once more or win one side event, and you're into worlds. I have to do a little more than that. I have to win, like, top twice more, or, like, at least get top four, and then, then I'm in the world as well, which is very nice. Ah, that was the video for today. I hope you liked it. Uh, if you want to stick around on my channel, I upload Yu-Gi-Oh! videos daily. Also, when there's DNYCS uh, tournaments going on, I do try to, every round, get a match uh, recorded and uploaded. It doesn't always work out. Sometimes people don't have time, sometimes I don't have time, which is unfortunate, but I do try. So stay for DNYC coverage, stay for daily Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, duels, deck profiles, uh, discussion videos on cards, on decks, and things like that. 
Uh, I will see you later on in tomorrow's Daily Yu-Gi-Oh! video. Bye.